Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. What's up guys, it's Axel Grave back with uh, more on this. We're doing uh, Volume 5, no, yeah, Volume 5, Chapter 6 now. Um, I'm enjoying them greatly. They're back to like 17-ish minutes. And as you know, we've been skipping the intro just because of the spoilers, but we always run through the credits to give uh, Rooster Teeth credit. I want it, I'm working on stuff and having disputes going through, but once again, you might be seeing this only on Patreon. I don't know. Like, I really don't. Um, and then I'll try to put them up for free on Patreon, but they're going to be early access, absolutely early access for our patrons, which thank you again, patrons. Your new stuff's coming out soon. As of this date, it's not July yet, so. Uh, whittling. They depicted the wood well. I didn't say that. Yeah. Lien. <laughs> oh, man. So, I'm assuming Crow did that just to avoid fighting, not because he was actually in any way afraid of that old bar guy. But maybe he was. Maybe that old bar guy is like the baddest badass in the entire universe. See? I mean, knife through the wall. I don't know. He could be the ultimate kung fu master of the universe. I don't know their theology or their universe building, multiverse building. Nice. That's cool uniqueness. <laughs> They're just beating each other's ass back there. I like this though. It was really good, man. I'm feeling it. I don't know why. I like, just this whole crow looking for contacts. I don't know why I'm digging it. Man, I just thought about it. We only got two more seasons and we're caught up, man. Like, it won't take that long to get through these. It'll be another month or two, probably. Especially at the new rate we're going, where we're doing like one every other day. So that's two months. If even I've had a rough day. You know where she is. Oh no. Damn, they gave that kid the saddest face and eyes. Like, so sad, like I cannot believe how sad they were made that. That was so sad. Good walking sound effects there, honestly. Wow. Mistral bounty missions. They're just missing? That's rough. Search and rescue terminated in progress eight weeks ago. That's a lot of missing. Okay, mission says search and destroy. So they're all hunters or huntresses, I'm guessing? Just going missing? Oof. I mean, obviously, we kind of know what's happening to them a bit in the fact that they're probably getting picked off by Salem and her forces, but, like, he has no fucking clue. Hoo-wee. Oh, yeah, I came back here. Hunter card. Yeah. 
so easy now. Hmm. Well, that was an interesting liquid function. She looks pretty, uh, done. I don't like her voice. Like, it's a good voice acting thing. I just don't like the... Unlike some people. looking for this. Really? God damn it. I hate when it does this. I'll have to s Stark. So you're gonna look away from the world because it sucks? Psh, man, I'm gonna just... That's what real people do though, so fuck it. That's the first thing I agree with her on, I think. I mean, there's some other stuff. She's very practical, which I appreciate. But only to a point. I was waiting for her to come to terms with that. I knew she wasn't like chill with it. Yeah. 
Her eyes look really good in this scene. Okay. A raven? I've seen that bird before. Maybe it belongs to your mom? Or it is your mom. I mean, that's pretty simple. So the question is, how did Ozpin do that to them? Turn them into a row and a crow and a raven. That's my question. practical I don't actually trust she's the kind of person I feel like would sacrifice her daughter for the greater good of the group you know said but then then there was no one left and they came for me as opposed to someone who's never been there I don't know man Pretty easy to like pick that for me. Yeah, she's like, ah, this backfired. Yeah, I don't know. Personally, that's a that's a matter of, matter of personal preference. I would take the person who's been there, even if they sometimes not trustworthy, versus someone who's never there. Like, both of them are unreliable, but at least some one of them shows the up. She showed up once. And even was like, everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. I guess one or two. All of us. Interesting. So dust powers their homes. Oh, they're gonna eat. All right, so let me make this point. Someone asked me, why do you think they carry weapons everywhere? For which my response is, uh, warriors should carry their weapons everywhere, period. Into the bath, motherfucker. Uh, but two, why then is he wearing his armor everywhere? I don't think I've ever seen really John without his like little hand gloves. But yeah, you as if you're a warrior, you, you should actually have your weapon within reach at pretty much all times. I feel like there's several anime that depict that. Uh, Berserk. I think Roroni Kenshin did it. A couple, like, that's classic. Have you ever been to, or, well, I guess you guys, well, I've never been, but have you ever heard about prison? Oh, hey, there we go. She's so happy. Oh, no, she's scared. I would be happy still. Oh. She did run up. Oh, good big sister. I didn't think about that. I don't know. They never talked about if she had ever like talked with her sister to help her work through that stuff. Oh, they're still kids. Hell, they made better choices than I make today. I love his little. Mm crooked cross. I know it's not a cross, probably, but... Oh, Poor girl, too. Aww. The Ice Queen! Good. Okay. That's the episode, which makes sense. And they are fun, man. I'm enjoying these. Uh, 
Yeah, that one. I, I mentioned how I really thought that was a cool design. Also, female blacksmith, awesome. Which they definitely did exist. I mean, it's not like they weren't real. I don't know in this universe how he's, but even in real life, female blacksmiths existed. Oh, goodness. Excuse me. Wow, look at the different food, like, place. I thought that was really good, guys. Uh, I mean, there's obviously stuff coming up ahead. The whole thing about how Raven and Crow, I'm assuming Crow can turn into a crow. I think someone said that in one of the past ones, which I'm glad I wasn't really paying attention to that comment now, I think. Um, but, I mean, there's definitely going to be more going on with Ozpin. I mean, when you're around for several hundred years trying to fight an evil force, you, you tend to get pretty drastic um, in the ways you fight them. Um, and often can blur that line between good and evil, which obviously Ospin could be a bad guy, or at least partially bad at, over these times, or, you know, some hidden stuff from Salem. Although it seems like they pretty much framed it out that she's just bad and wants humanity done, which I love. I love straight up, like, evil villains. Like, they're, for me, the best. They usually get rid of their subordinates and use them as tools. They don't care about anyone but their own goals. They don't care if the world is destroyed. They don't care... You know what I mean? They're really, like, uh, I feel like the best uh, aspect of a villain is callousness or, like, a lack of empathy because they're just driven by their own goals. Good example of that being uh, the Joker. But, uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching that one with us. We're going to keep going. We're technically, I think, streaming these so that there's at least some record of them somewhere. But yeah. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, Leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.